The Pfizer COVID-19 vaccine already being administered in the UK to some of the country's most vulnerable citizens. Our cameras went inside a UK vaccination center where some of those first shots were being administered. James Longman with me now, more on what he saw there. Good morning, James. What was the feeling among those people that were able to get the vaccine now? Hi, Deirdre. Yeah, I think jubilation, relief, because this country, like the United States, has really had a tough time uh, of COVID-19. I think there's some concern just uh, about the logistics of, of all this, but I think initially just people really relieved. And we had the wonderful opportunity uh, to see 86-year-old Tony, or 84, sorry, I believe his age was, Tony, who was getting his vaccine, an inpatient at the hospital who'd been promised day after day that he was going to be able to go home. But finally, today was going to be the day once he got his vaccine administered. His wife, Glenis, they've been married 62 years. He hasn't seen her in weeks either. She at another hospital in London also getting her vaccine. And it just means that they can go back to their lives. And it's funny, you know, when you talk to elderly uh, people in this country anyway around the vaccine, they're very matter of fact about it. He's like, well, it's a vaccine. I've, I've had hundreds of these in my life and uh, or hundreds of injections. It's just another one. So he was kind of nonplussed about it. But he, he, did, he did really, you know, feel just enormously happy to, to be looking forward to seeing his family again. He said Christmas was just a dream and now I'm going to be able to see my family. Watching all this happen though was an American, a Californian who runs the emergency department at King's College and possibly one of the first Americans to receive the vaccine outside of trials anywhere and his grandmother, a 96-year-old lady in Washington, at a home in Washington uh, over in the United States, of course a state which we know has been really badly hit by COVID-19, has been speaking to him about uh, what his experience was and saying that she's very much looking forward to it. Here's what uh, he had to say. I spoke to my grandmother, who's 96 and very eager to get the vaccine. Um, she lives in a care home in Washington, so she was very excited to hear that I'd had it and wants to get it herself so that that way, hopefully, we can all see each other again. As we get more and more people, we will start to turn the corner. And we'll, this, this, to me, felt like it was the first step back towards normality, yeah. which was very exciting. And so what are the logistical challenges that you're hearing about there? Well, it's just about the freezer, really, Deirdre. It's about having to keep this thing in such low temperatures. We went to see where it's stored, a rather unassuming box in the corner uh, where this freezer is kept. The vaccine has to go there. But once it's taken out of the freezer, it's put directly into a regular refrigerator where it's thawed for three hours. After that, uh, it's taken out and taken over to the pharmacists who then prepare each syringe. And they've only got two hours to get it into a syringe and then into a patient. And, and so it's that kind of speed with which the vaccine needs to be administered once it's defrosted that has caused you know the staff at King's College Hospital some anxiety in terms of trying to get it as quickly as possible they're doing 25 vaccinations an hour but when you think of this country sort of 60 million plus people live here in the United States many many more that's rather a quick turnover and when you think about all the kind of restrictions that are in place at the hospital everyone in masks social distancing lining up properly the fact that you have to come in twice to get this shot three weeks apart and all also, that the rest of these vaccinations, when the second shot comes through, are going to be happening in the middle of winter when there could be another surge of coronavirus because we're, we're loosening our restrictions now in Britain, um, means that there are quite a lot of hurdles ahead. So, yes, enormous happiness, a lot of jubilation here in Britain. The vaccine rollout is continuing, but it's going to take quite some time before all of us in Britain can be fully inoculated against COVID-19. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.